Hey guys, what's up? Mike here. Thanks for tuning in to another video. So let's talk about Sketch and Adobe Fireworks. I've been using Sketch now for a little over 10 days or so, and I must say it is the closest thing to Adobe Fireworks in my opinion. If you're new to my channel, you may not know that I love Adobe Fireworks. I've been using it now for over 15 years, and I love it. It's like a lightweight version of Photoshop in that it has full-on bitmap support, full-on vector support that you would find in a tool like Adobe Illustrator, and it has, has prototyping all in one. You don't get that in any app today on the market. And so I consider it the best UI UX design tool. But since 2013, Adobe has halted development on Adobe Fireworks and has decided to phase it out um, for other products. Um, now, the natural response at that time for anyone who's been following my videos and know that I love Adobe Fireworks and I preached about it so much is that what tool are you going to use now since Adobe is phasing it out? And me personally, I don't jump, you know, when there's a news break or there's a new tool on the market or there's a new piece of technology, I'm not an early adapter into anything. I kind of wait and kind of feel things out, you know, until it's convenient. And so, hence, the reason why I never jumped on Sketch really early when a lot of people were jumping on Sketch and things like that. Um, I'm just not an early adapter. I kind of wait around until I'm comfortable. And so working, you know, talking with a lot of designers, knowing that it's been a few years um, of development on Sketch and a lot of people telling me, to, telling, me, telling me about it, decided to give it a try. And I was amazed at the simplicity and the similarities in terms, in terms of the interactions that I would find in Adobe Fireworks leading me to believe that either the developers of Sketch were fans of Adobe Fireworks or that they got a lot of feedback from Fireworks users in the early phase of development. And so I was blown away by that. And so let me just explain a few. One biggie was just the simple interactions that you find within moving objects on, a can on the canvas like easily moving objects, copying them, like doing a, a command C, um, or if you're on a PC, you're used to doing control C, you know, copying objects to your clipboard, deleting them from your canvas, moving other objects, and then pasting that one, that one deleted object back into the same location in which you've copied it and deleted it from, that right there is an interaction that is really very hard to explain, but when you're, you've been using that same interaction in Adobe Fireworks for over a decade and you find it in Sketch, you're pleasantly surprised. So that's one. Um, simple things like dragging an object and while I'm dragging it, I can hit Alt in the middle of dragging it and it will duplicate that object. That feature is available in Photoshop, but it's a little different. You have to hover your mouse over the object and then hit Delete and then it's a little clunky, right? So I can work within objects without using my layers panel in Sketch, similar to what I was used to in Fireworks. Also, another biggie is pages. I know a lot of you know, UI design tools and things are moving towards artboards. Artboards are great. It allows you to have multiple artboards and pages within one large canvas, but me, I'm kind of old school. If I'm working on one particular page, one particular site, I want to focus on that one site you know, at a time. I don't want to be confused by many different artboards on screen. I don't want to accidentally move objects and it moved my artboard out of the way and I'm now switched to artboard number three. It's like, I hate that confusion. I don't want to work on one single canvas at a time, one page at a time. And for my multiple states, I want those to be in different pages. You know, I was used to that interaction in Fireworks. You get that in Sketch, but in Sketch, you get best of both worlds. You get pages as well as artboards. That's just to name a few. Outside of that, the overall simplicity of the app is just so light that if you're, you've been using Fireworks for over a few months, um, you would pick up Sketch within 10 to 15 minutes. So when I opened it up, I felt right at home. It was so, it was kind of like spooky. Um, so that right there is just, you know, why I love, I'm loving Sketch right now doesn't have prototyping but Envision is has created this plugin that's called Craft that allows you to download a plugin from you know for Sketch and use 
envisions prototyping feature within Sketch, similar to what you were used to, like what you would find in, you know, like Adobe XD's new product, you know, dragging things and releasing. That's coming out. I don't know if it's available right now as I speak. I know I saw like a coming soon thing there on their site, but as of right now, if you wanted to use Sketch, you could always upload your your files over to Envision and prototype within the Envision app um, for prototyping, you know, and linking up pages and things like that. So, you know, as of right now, I'm using Sketch. I'm loving it along with Webflow, but that's for another video. So a couple new tools that I'm really loving right now is Sketch and I'm loving Webflow. These are like, Webflow is like a game changer to me. And so you're gonna be hearing me talk about this more. I've been using Webflow now for a little over a month Webflow, which is for another video, just a little briefly on that, Webflow is not an easy tool to use in a sense that you can pick it up within a few minutes, you know. Not like Sketch. Webflow is something you have to spend a lot of time and you have to have a base of HTML and CSS, in my opinion, to use Webflow really efficiently. But once you do have that and you get familiar with Webflow, man, it's amazing. I'm gonna be talking about this more and now that I've been using Sketch, yes, I will be teaching about this. I will be talking about this. You'll be seeing it in my course on my site. So if you want to learn Sketch, you want to learn Fireworks, you want to learn Photoshop, you want to learn my UX design process, you can find all that on my site at molfco.com. Also, I'll be teaching Webflow as well and the process in which I use it and how I use it and how I've been using it and integrating, exporting HTML stuff and, and using it on top of WordPress. It's cool stuff. So lots more to come, but for now, if you value my opinion and you're a fan of Adobe Fireworks like I've been for the past 15 years, and I love it, I, you know, I just love the tool, give Fireworks a try, you know, um, or give uh, Sketch a try. If you have a Mac, um, download a free trial you know, at their site and just play with it. I'm, I'm sure you'll pick it up within a few minutes and uh, you'll enjoy it just like, like I am. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, um, leave me comments or you know, check out my site and use the contact link, shoot me questions there. If you like the things that I talk about, please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. A lot more things to come. We'll talk soon guys, peace.